Hi, my name is Ben Powers and I am from Wisconsin. I'll be given a set of reasons on Holstein Junior two-year-old cows. 2341 is how I place this class of Holstein Junior two-year-old cows. Two leads out the class day handy winner as she uses her decided advantage of blooming capacity throughout a youthful confirmation to top the class with ease. This cow is ready for the colored shavings as she has more symmetry, balance, and quality throughout all four quarters, wearing her udder higher above the hocks, is fuller at the top of the rear quarters, and has a longer, smoother, more venaceous forearder that tacks more tightening the body wall with teats that hang more nearly plumb, and has more symmetry throughout all four quarters, noting the light front left quarter on three. In addition, she has more cow power, being wider through the chest floor, carrying that with on back through hooks, pins, and thurls, and is taller, more abstaining her front end. Furthermore, she is so much more angular, blending more harmoniously from neck to shoulder, shoulder to barrel, is tighter at the pointy elbow, being harder down her top, and is more nearly level from hooks to pins, with a tail head that sits more neatly in between her pins. I will grant that 3 does have a stronger outer cleft, carrying that outer cleft all the way up to the top of the rear quarters. Next, in a much closer middle placing, 3 gets an odd over 4, using her decided advantage of comfortability on her front feet and legs, faulting 4 for having an abnormally large lump on her front right knee. In addition, she has so much more style and balance, having more feminine head, longer and leaner in her neck, sharper at the point of the withers, more sharply chiseled on her top, more prominent about her hooks, pins, and thurls, and is more incurving her thigh. Furthermore, she has more blooming capacity to both her fore and rear quarters, wearing a wider rear udder attachment, having a stronger udder cleft, and has a more adequate curve at the bottom of the rear quarters. I will grant that four does keep this a close placing, as she has so much more body capacity. Finally, on my bottom placing, 4 easily goes over 1, using her definite advantage of angularity all the way throughout. She blends harmoniously from neck to shoulder, shoulder barrel, is tighter at the point of the elbow, being taller, more abstaining in her front end, higher in her chine, fuller in her crops, and has a more adequate uphill run, while also being a taller and longer cow all the way through. In addition, she is wearing a more youthful udder, wearing her udder higher above the hocks, being especially fuller at the top of the rear quarters, and has a longer, smoother blending forward that tacks more tightening the body wall, with more venation all the way throughout. To tip the scales even further, she is tracking straight around her rear feet and legs, noting in the extremely wide, noting the extremely large toe out on one. On the I will grant that one does have more <clears throat> correct teat size, shape, and placement, criticizing four for having wide front teats. And although I admire the cow with the chains teats, I feel justified in placing her at the bottom of the class, for she lacks the overall youthfulness of udder and angularity to merit a higher placing. These then are my reasons for placing this class of Holstein Junior two-year-old cows, two, three, four, one.